Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. And I'm gonna tell you something that's disturbing. This is a trend that I have been looking for and now this has happened in two states, which to me means the anti-gun states are going to be doing this. I wanna tell you all about it. Before I get into it, I wanna thank the sponsor of the video and that's Lear Capital. As many of you know, I am very particular at who sponsors this show. And I want you to know that I choose Lear Capital because they are aligned with American values and their priority is to help educate and inform people, you and I, on what's happening in not only just politics, but the economy as well and how to protect and preserve the wealth you already have. They also have a must read report called The Tipping Point that explains why our American financial system is broken, how the US dollar is on its way to being extinct, and the plan for countries to move out from under the US dollar with a new gold-backed currency. Will the dollar die and force us to use a digital currency? What will this mean for gold and silver? There's a lot of great insider information in this new report and it's free. So don't wait, do what I did and ask all the questions you could possibly think of. Write them down, learn and absorb the knowledge so that you can decide what's right for you and your family. Lear helped me purchase my gold and my silver and they answered all of my questions and there's no obligation to purchase, so give them a call, 1-800-260-5075, or go to leargg.com. Learn about gold-backed IRAs or 401ks, or how storage works if you don't want to take possession of your physical gold and silver like I did. Now, Lear will give Guns and Gadgets viewers $250 in their account today, and will tell you how you can qualify and receive up to $15,000 in free bonus medals. All right, guys and gals, give them a call at one 800 260-5075 or head over, to, head over to leargg.com and thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, like I said, my name is Jared. This is Guns and Gadgets and on this channel I bring you everything related to the Second Amendment, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it happens, from litigation to legislation and everything in between. And today's one of those things that are in between that I'm going to talk about, something that people wouldn't really pay attention to normally, but this has happened now in two different states, in Massachusetts and California, and I want you to be aware to see if this starts happening near you. Yes, even you, I live in a red state, it'll never happen here. <laughs> Pay attention, because Moms Demand in every town, and Brady and Giffords, they're in every state, every single state. So last year, uh, the Boston Globe did a hit piece, maybe two years, a year and a half ago, they did a hit piece on what we called the mill. Uh, it was an, a, an old mill that had the highest number of federally licensed firearms dealers under one roof in the country. The last time I checked when I was up there was like 84 or 87, I can't remember which, but, but it was over 80 and they were all under one roof at the mill. You could go there and pretty much find what you were looking for and the member, the different FFLs kind of worked together, which was cool to see. So the FFLs, they released, received some visits from uh, a stooge reporter who did a hit piece saying that this was like a gun mill and it's too close to kids and everybody in the town is unsafe, even though not a single rule was violated and they get their inspections every single year from the local PD and the ATF, but then it became an issue because they it's almost like, well, we just finally discovered this is here, we have to end this. And that's what I'm bringing to your attention now. Let's go to Culver City, California, and they is another city that hates gun shops. They think that a gun shop, an FFL, somehow causes school shootings, right? Somehow causes criminals to do criminal things. Instead of going after the criminal, we'll go after everybody who isn't doing anything wrong to so maybe stop people from doing wrong. Does that sound logical? No, yet welcome to 2023 in the mind of the gun controller. So one of, the, one of the locations in Culver City uh, that is an FFL was grandfathered in prior to any new laws and zoning where they were trying to keep gun shops out of the city. And it's relatively close to an elementary school. Well, that, uh, that shop just announced that it was going out of business. So in the September 11th board meeting, the city council decided to buy the building so that nobody else would, thus they couldn't grandfather a firearms related store being there. Yes, the city spent $6.5 million to buy this location 
so that no other gun shop could go there. Basically, hold the spot, never release it, so that an FFL will never, ever be there again. Government of the people, for the people, by the people, buying up property to stop the people from being able to exercise their God-given inalienable right to keep and bear arms. By taking away a location that people can buy them, you're in effect, especially by strong arming, strong arming, strong arming them out of the city, you're making it impossible for people to exercise their Second Amendment. So that's now the second state to do this. Now, they haven't specifically said in Culver City that that's why they're doing it. However, all of the anti-gun groups that are out there are kind of happy now. They're saying, you know what, it's great because this is an investment in our safety and in our children. So you can connect the dots there to figure out why they bought this location. I think it smells fishy. I think it smells like a dead, rotting corpse. And when there's smoke, there's fire. Now, this is the second time, I think, uh, Littleton, Massachusetts, the board, the, the selectmen forced the sale of the mill about a year ago. So this is the second state within a year to do everything they could to get rid of FFLs. In one case, 80 plus, boom, gone. You're getting out. We're buying the building. We're forcing the sale of the building and the new owner can kick you out within 30 days. And here in Culver City, the one location that's grandfathered near a school, they bought up so that nobody could move in and grandfather the license, and thus, poof, no more FFL there. Let me know what you guys and gals think. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Or am I someone who caught the trend and have been watching it since the Massachusetts issue happened? And now this is the second one to pop up. And I'm sure y'all in the, in the comments below will be able to tell me some more locations. And for those who might say, Jared, no, you're, you're, you're panicking here. I'm going to draw your attention to the area of uh, Ashburn, Virginia. Uh, there's a great facility, XCAL. Phenomenal facility. It's a gun range, a gym, a restaurant. It's a smoking lounge. It's a really, really gorgeous place. And not too far from there, there was another large range. And... The city bought it, and the city decided that it wasn't going to be open to the public anymore. And that basically took away a place where people could exercise their Second Amendment. So, and technically, this is the third one now that I've noticed. So, you got Massachusetts, the area of Asper Ashburn, Virginia, and Culver City, Colorado. Colorado? Culver City, California. Who knows? Colorado might be next. If you know of one in your state, put it down in the comments down below. Let us know because this is a dangerous, disturbing trend that they were probably trying to sneak in behind us. More backdoor gun control. Yeah, but now we're watching them. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Please do everything you can to be safe and stay vigilant and keep your community safe and free from violence by arming yourself, carrying a gun, exercising your right to be your first responder for yourself, your family, your loved ones, your children, your wife, your husband, your brother, your community. That's how we gain this country back. They're trying to pull that away from us. We ain't going to let it happen. See you in the next one. Take care.